Hi, I'm Michael Burrows. I've been an anxiety specialist for the last 11 years and over that time I've been fortunate enough to help thousands of people with their anxiety. If you found yourself shaking or trembling and that's gotten you anxious, this video is for you. We'll cover the core mechanisms of this fear and how it works in a cycle as well as what can be done to treat that. It often comes down to one of two fears causing this one. Some of the time it's a social fear like people are going to notice my hands shaking like a leaf and think I'm a wuss. Other times, it's a fear that the trembling is a sign of an impending medical condition like Parkinson's. See, shaking or trembling occurs naturally when we're in a higher adrenal state as the muscle fibers stay in a peak state of readiness, contracting and relaxing rapidly, causing shaking. Studies suggest that up to 25% of people with anxiety disorders experience some shaking. So how does this cycle work? Well, it tends to start with just a little bit of shaking being noticed by the brain. I've seen this be in the hands, legs, even the voice for people. This is then viewed as a threat. So there'll be a thought like, oh no, there's that early onset Parkinson's again. And as there's a threat, the brain signals for the body to release adrenaline, which causes the muscles to fill up with more energy and get tense, coiled and ready for action. The shaking gets worse. Your thoughts are then all, oh no, it's getting worse, and you get more adrenaline and more shaking. This whole cycle can even be kicked off by worrying about shaking, as worrying about something bad happening causes that initial shot of adrenaline that causes the slight shaking. Sometimes this cycle is kicked off after an illness or injury that causes someone to worry, and they might have had sick family members for the brain to base its fears off of. Other times, there's an initial panic attack that triggers this whole cycle off. It's generally a pretty distressing experience and the brain worries that we'll have another one. So what can be done about this? Know that treatment is very doable. I help people through this all the time. You want to reduce your adrenal baseline so the intensity of that adrenal response isn't as high. Then you won't have any noticeable shaking. You want thinking techniques for keeping worries that trigger the anxiety to a minimum and a technique to give you a way to instantly reduce anxiety down when you're on the go and want to keep enjoying yourself. And you need a set of steps that walk your brain through the experience of the feeling being trembly or shaky and realizing that you're okay and no one noticed. And the experience of going into the situations and activities that you might have been avoiding due to the fear of shaking, but in a particular way that helps rather than hinders. Situations like meetings public speaking, or just generally being in public or with people. Work through that process and it won't be a bother for you anymore. If you want a resource to get you started, grab my Anxiety Reducer Guide, completely free. It'll get you going on reducing your adrenal baseline. Hope you found this helpful. If you have, please share it with someone who's worried about shaking, or if there's someone you want to understand you better. Feel free to check out this video here and keep being awesome.